Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build an infinite potion throwing machine or snowball throwing machine. Now, I'd like to give a shout out to Doc M77. Now, I'll have a link to his video in the description below because that's what gave me this idea. However, guys, it has nothing to do with each other. Both of these things are completely different. But if I wasn't for that video, I would have not made up this whole entire creation. Now, he built a machine in a snapshot about a month ago. We're now on the PC. If you have a snow golem on one side and you have a witch on the other side, they'll throw items at each other. But if you put cobwebs in between them, it'll collect the items and you'll have an infinite snow and infinite potion machine pretty much. You'll get infinite amounts of potions and infinite amounts of snow. Now that does not work on console. However, my brain went into overdrive. I'm like, wait a second. If he throws potions at the snow golem, what can launch items? Slime blocks can launch items such as ender pearls and just regular items. So if I set them apart at a good distance from each other so the potion doesn't harm the witch or the potion doesn't harm the snow golem, I can make it so this witch will keep launching items into the distance, well, forever. So if I flip down this lever right here, it's quite annoying. But once they notice each other, see right there, once they notice each other, as you can see, he starts launching potions in the distance, guys forever he will launch those potions forever it will keep going on and on forever very annoying machine it sounds annoying but there you guys have an infinite potion throwing machine and you don't have to worry if the snow golem hits the witch because the snow will do absolutely no damage to him but as you can see he is throwing slowness potions he is throwing poison potions he is throwing instant damage potions it's just an infinite potion throwing machine very annoying so i'm gonna flip it back down now i calculated how far the potions go from the witch's spot now they go a pretty much about 30 blocks i think it was 27 or 28 but i'm just rounding it to 30 so it will launch it at least 30 blocks into the distance now the hardest part about this build if you're going to do it on survival is well getting the witch the witch is going to be the hardest part of this entire build but if you want to do this on creative and maybe you're making a mini game or something like that maybe you're having a maze running game where people have to run through a maze and you want potions just to get launched down onto them forever this thing is is great for that because one they'll never despawn if you put a name tag on right here is pickle and right here is pickle i just named them both pickle for some reason but i see boop they're oh pickle brothers they're pickle brothers that's what i named them but if you name them that they won't despawn and then you'll just guys you'll just get an infant amount of potions once they notice each other they'll start throwing items at each other and did the witch notice them yet come on there we go and there you go the infinite potion throwing machine so let's go ahead and start building this thing guys all right guys so normally i like to give a definite spacing for my builds but all you really need to know is the distance between the snow golem and the witch so you're going to have see where the red stained clay is that is where your snow golem is going to be on one side and the witch is going to be on the other side and then in between them should be exactly seven blocks now the resources you're going to need for this build are one sticky piston one redstone comparator two redstone repeaters redstone dust one lever one pressure plate we're also going to need seven slime blocks two pieces of snow and a pumpkin to make our snow golem and of course if you're doing this on survival you're going to need a witch that might be a little bit harder to get all right guys so i'm going to be starting up on the snow golems side first i don't want you guys to get lost and accidentally have your potions going the opposite direction of where you want them to go so my snow golem is going to be over here on the right hand side so what I want you to do is come over here to this red stained clay if you built this whole entire thing and just dig down two, one, two, and then we're going to dig down two, three more times. So one, two, one, two, and then one, two, and then right underneath it, we're going to dig out two going this way three more times. One, two, one, two, and one, two, and that should be everything for our redstone. So right here off of this block, we're going to place down a piece of redstone and then we're going to place our block of choice right above it. So place a block of choice and then place your pressure plate above that. So when I hit the pressure plate, the redstone down there should come on then coming out of this redstone we're going to place our comparator going this way and then set it to a subtraction mode place a repeater in front of it and then we're going to place a block in front of this repeater a piece of redstone down here place another repeater going this way on one tick delay with another piece of redstone going into this comparator so now when i hit this it will infinitely loop forever next up what i want you to do is place a sticky piston facing upwards off this block and now we're going to take out our slime blocks. Next up, what I'm going to do is remove these blocks and just add in my blocks of choice here. And just make sure you have your line. Make sure there's seven blocks in between the snow golem and the witch. Just make sure it is seven blocks between them. And now I'm just going to go ahead and hide everything here. Now off of any one of these blocks, any one of these blocks going in between the witch and the snow golem, just remove one of them. 
Just remove one of the blocks in between them and you should be good. There has to be blocks in between the entire thing. Next up, take out your slime blocks and place all seven of your slime blocks going down in between the witch and the snow golem. So now when I come over here and I hit my pressure plate, it'll go up and down, up and down forever. It's very annoying, yes. So now all we have to do is just put in our witch and our snow golem and we will be completely done. So I'm gonna go ahead and place in my witch first. So come up two blocks right here, one, two one two and then come up two in the back one two and then place a block right above it and go ahead and place your witch on the inside now i highly recommend renaming your witch and your snow golem so they do not despawn they will despawn if you do not rename them and wait a second is this nose moving <laughs> i never noticed that the witch's nose actually move but make sure you rename them or they will despawn then the place in the snow golem all i did was come up two blocks like this up two blocks here put a block over the back and then what we're gonna do is come up two blocks here here and here and then we're gonna place our snow golem right here so go ahead and take out your snow and your pumpkin and place in two pieces of snow and your pumpkin and then once your snow golem is in there he should move over on his own but just make sure you just push him over as you can hear he already activated this thing so i'm just gonna push him over real quickly and then i'm gonna go ahead and place in my block right here now we don't want this thing going on and off on and off forever so what i like to do is just place a lever right next to my sticky piston and then flip it down to turn it off so now once I flip down this lever, our witch and our snow golem will start fighting and the potions will just keep infinitely getting thrown into the distance. So flip down your lever and that is the entire thing, guys. You are completely done. As you can see, there goes the potions flying off into the distance. And there you guys have it. That is how you build an infinite potion throwing machine. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.